Techno Creation here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. This time it's putting Linux on a USB but with persistence. So that means that your files stay there instead of getting deleted when you turn it off. So to have persistence on a USB stick, we're going to need um, two things. We're going to need syslinux, uh, three things. We're going to need uh, system linux or sys linux or syslinux, um, preferably the latest version. Um, and I'll link the download below. Unit booting, um, which compiles the stuff onto our USB stick. It's important you get unit booting, not another one like um, uh, Mac USB loader. Um, and then you get your um, ISO file. In this case, I'm doing Ubuntu because that's the one that supports light persistence. Um, doesn't really work with any other OS, really. So, first of all, we're going to open up Disk Utility and erase our um, USB stick. So, this USB stick must be preferably above 2 gigabytes, if not. Um, of a 4 gigabyte, so we're going to get into the erase function. I'm going to click erase and erase it, and then we're going to open terminal. And then we're what we're going to do is we're going to type disk util list. So util space list, and this will come up with uh, a list of all the drives that's connected to the computer. So there'll be your hard drive and your uh, USB stick and any other drives like external hard drives and stuff. Okay, so uh, for the next couple of mark commands, make sure you're typing in the right disk. So we need to make a note that it's disk one, which my USB sticks on. If you use disk zero, then your whole computer will be wiped and your OS will go and there's no way of recovering it. So for the next few commands, just make sure you're following this. So we're gonna do um, disk, it may be a different number for you, but we're gonna, uh, for me it's disk one. So we're gonna type disk util unmount Unmount disk forward slash dev forward slash uh, disk and then one. Uh, press enter and it will say it's unmounted and we can see that the disk has disappeared from here or USB stick. But next we're going to type in sudo f disk dash e space forward slash dev forward slash r disk and then one press enter, type in your password, and then it will come up with this error information, but that's okay, that does not matter, you can just ignore that, okay, and then we're going to type in a couple, like a line of string of little things which will um, mount, uh, well just prepare the USB for what we're going to mount onto it, so we're going to do F space 1, enter, partition 1 marked as active, um, write, and then it will say writing MBR at offset 0, and then exit. And then I will exit that, um, and we're ready for the next step. And the next step is, um, so as soon as we do something, the disk comes back. So the next step is to, again, um, we're going to unmount that disk. So you can just copy this command here. And then it will say that it's uh, unmounted, and it won't be on your desktop anymore. Okay, so the next step is to do, um, is to navigate to where the, um, uh, MBR file in system Linux. So if you've got system Linux, it follow my steps, else you'll have to find the mbr.bin file. Okay, so we're going to type cd and then we're going to type desktop or wherever you've saved it. So you go through the routes where you saved it, make sure desktop's got with a capital, um, and then we're going to go sys linux 6 and then we're going to go to BIOS and then we're going to go to MBR. And that is where the MBR bin is stored. So if we press enter, it will say that it's in the MBR folder right here. Okay, and now we're going to perform sudo dd conv equals not run c space bs equals 440 space count equals 1 space if equals mbr.bin uh, space of equals forward slash dev forward slash disk and then whatever your disk one is so mine's disk one so press enter um, and it should come up with uh, this here and it'll say for 440 bytes is transferred 
Okay, if it doesn't come up with that and it says that it's rejected or it's in use or something, make sure that you've unmounted it. Okay, so it's, um, the disc has been remounted now and we're good to close this and that's all prepared for our unit booting now. So you can open unit booting. Okay, so unit booting's opened. Make that a bit bigger for you. Okay, and we're gonna ignore this bit if you've downloaded your ISO, else you're gonna have to go through this. But I would, I suggest downloading the ISO from Safari because it's quicker. We're gonna select disk image, ISO. You'll press the, the uh, ellipse here to go navigate to where our ISO file is. We're gonna select the ISO file. And now this bit's important, we're going to select how much space is going to be in persistence. So I'm going to go for 512 megabytes, you can go for larger uh, or smaller if you want to. Okay, so we're going to select our disk, and there's only one disk available and that is this disk. Okay, and then we're going to press OK. And it will download the files, which is already done. Uh, it's going to extract and copy the files. Now it may hang on um, things like 254, 255 and 256. That's because these are large files. So this is 938 megabytes. And then the other uh, previous ones were only bytes and kilobytes. So you're going to have to wait for this for a bit. If you've got a SSD and USB 3, it should be faster. If you've got a hard drive, and USB 2 or something, it will be a bit slower. Um, so have a cup of tea whilst this is loading, um, and I'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, so it's finished the large file, it's moving on to some semi-large files, and then it'll continue um, loading all these things off. Very quickly finish extracting and copying the files, it's going to then install the bootloader, and if it's done correctly, um, you may see that it's saying, talk about uh, sys, Sys Linux 6 on there, which is good, you want that, else something's gone wrong, or just follow it through and see what happens. Okay, now it says that it's setting up persistence, which is good. Okay, now it'll say it's done, and it will say that it will not boot off a Mac. Well, we'll see that it will boot off a Mac in a second. Um, so we're going to exit this, um, and we're going to restart. 